Members of the Hawaii congressional delegation say they are also seeking answers after yesterday's deadly helicopter crash on Kauai. Max Rodriguez reports. Congressman Kahele and Congressman Case sharing their condolences to the families who lost loved ones in Tuesday's helicopter crash on Kauai. Both say they will keep an eye for the results on the NTSB investigation. Congressman Ed Case says there are a lot of questions related to Tuesday's helicopter crash on Kauai. My number one uh, concerns right now is what happened, why, and and how can we prevent it from happening again? Because each one of these losses, we've had many uh, losses uh, and fatal accidents from helicopters, whether they be military or tour helicopters, way too many um, over a very recent period of time, just the last couple of years. Congressman Kai Kahele says he shared his thoughts with the base commander the morning following the accident. Learning the helicopter involved in the crash is the same aircraft he rode last year while visiting constituents on Niihau. It does cross your mind that it could have been you in, in the helicopter and um, again, you know, just shocked and really sad for the families in the base. Kahele is also a military and civilian pilot and says this type of accident is rare. These things don't just happen. They happen as a result of some type of mechanical failure, and, and that's very rare. It's, it's not usual for something like this to happen. You know, um, these aircraft, especially the Sikorskis, are solid workhorse aircraft, and they've performed time and time again. And so something like this uh, is going to have to be looked at very carefully. Meanwhile, Congressman Case recalling the deadly 2019 Hawaii King air crash that killed 11 people on Oahu's North Shore. And now, Tuesday's helicopter crash, urging the FAA to adopt recommendations issued by the National Transportation Safety Board. The agency that is responsible for the regulations, for the controls, um, is the Federal Aviation Administration. And in the, in the area of tour helicopters and small planes across our country, it has not accepted many of the NTSB's recommendations following uh, fatal crashes. Max Rodriguez, KH1 News, working for Hawaii.